What's up guys, we're watching Volgor's videos, and this is uh, a beer review on Steinlager Classic. Yeah, I picked this up at um, Grocery Depot, and yeah, this is not only going to be a review on this, but um, a rant on Grocery Depot. Wait, Grocery Out... Grocery Outlet. There's, we have both of them around here. There's Grocery Outlet, which is the one with the Muppet things, the place I'm talking about. And Grocery Depot, which is a, a nicer place. They used to be better. They used to be a lot cheaper, but the price has gone up. But, they, I don't know. They se still seem to have better deals. Anyways, I don't think that's much of a... I don't think that's even a franchise. Anyways, let me... Uh, pop you up on something. There, that'll work. Alright. Is this a twist off? No. So I got a bottle opener. So, um, yeah, let me pour this first. Here's my uh, beer glass. I got this for a quarter today at a yard sale. I thought it was pretty cool. Alright, so I'm gonna fill this halfway full, so if it's gross, I can put that, I don't know, halfway. Smells like I've smelled it before. Oh, I've smelled this before. It smells like, um, shoot, I, I know I've, I've smelled this before, but I can't put my finger on it. Heineken, maybe? Maybe that's what it was. No, Bex. Maybe it was Bex. Alright, so I like this glass. You can clearly see it's got a little bit of color, but it's also got a lot of bubbles. Not much of a head. Um, it's still there, but it's very thin. There's some foam, but it's just so thin. Alright. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, I guess you definitely taste the corn. Hmm. I was thinking. So here's my experience at uh, Grocery Depot. I used to like this place, but man, they jacked their prices up. They have really jerked and jacked their prices up. This place is um. Advertised on TV all the time, and it's supposed to be like, you know, a, a cheap alternative to your grocery store, which it's not. Um, you might be able to find a decent deal for chips or some other things. Not really a great deal, like, you know, your typical bag of Lay's or Fritos or whatever. A big bag is like over $3, not on sale. Not on sale, but, you know, there's deals everywhere or coupons or whatever. But if you get off-brand chips, a decent-sized bag, it's two dollars. That's not really a big deal. I mean, it's like called a dollar store. However, that's not that's gonna be off-brand too. But it's like that's cheaper. I don't know. It's like a trying to be, they're trying to be a, a cross between a grocery store and a dollar store, but not having a dollar. Yeah. Let me drink some more of this. Oh man, that, that beer, I hope it doesn't come back up. It's very watery and vegetable-y, and uh, I couldn't find a review of it on a, on a Beer Advocate, but I found it on Rate Beer, and a lot of people gave it like a, a 5 is the best, and a lot of people gave it like a 2 something, or a, or a 1 point something.
Uh, this is 4.8%. This is shit. This is shit. I wish I had somebody over here with me to, to test out this garbage, but I don't. Um, if you ever see Stein Lager Classic or anything Stein Lager, just walk away. Because it is not worth it. I mean, the bottle looks cool. It looks it looks authentic. Oh, wow. You're buying um, uh, Zealand beer. That sounds neat. That sounds cool, I guess. But... And then you bring it home, you get it cold, and then, because it all the beer, they have one little fridge of cold beer. And they used to have, uh, what's it called, Blondale? I can't remember the whole name, but something Blondale. And I've had that before, and that's pretty damn good. That's that's something I should have got. But I didn't, because it jacked up the price to three freaking dollars. Three freaking dollars, yeah. Um, I, I swear I've seen it other places for... 280 something but three dollars at a discount place that's bullshit i'm not gonna put it more in the glass it's not it's not worth it international award winning crisp clean full flavor no additives no added preservatives bullshit fuck you in the ass you little piece of shit bottle oh my god this is if i didn't like waste 384 do i still have the receipt no, I don't. But trust me, it was three eighty four, and this this place. I'm 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 amazed, kinda, that they're still in business because, um, I'm checking out this beer, and there were some other beers like there was, uh, oh yeah, another thing that's a, a decent deal. But why would you buy it? They had four loco, like a is it a four pack or a eight pack for a dollar ninety nine, like dirt cheap. But at the same time, it's four loco. It's you know. It's not good for you. It's not even. Uh, it's it's it's. I don't know. I mean, at least four local give you a buzz. This probably isn't. I don't know. Four local is probably worse. More likely. I don't know. This is pretty bad. Tastes like watered down boot. Green boot, watered down corn. Ugh. And it's only 4.8%. Anyways, let me get back to my little story here. Um, basically, I'm looking at I'm looking at all these beers. I'm like, man, why do I even step inside this piece of shit place? And then I see a Stein Lager. I'm like, well, that looks kind of neat. I mean, it looks like uh, Beck's or, or uh, Heineken. You know, it's got a green bottle. And uh, I go back. I'm gonna, I'm trying to get some way to see how much this price is because there's no price on it, of course. And uh, there's a mile long line. There's uh, two checkouts open. That's it. And there's, it's just mile long line. And then I'm like, okay, screw this. I put it back. And uh, me, and my friend, he he's looking for he's eat, uh, picking out chips. So I go walk with him, picking out chips. And then I come back, grab the beer. No, there's no line anymore. Not only is there no line, there's nobody even at the checkout. They're all gone. They're <sighs> gone. So then I'm like, what am I going to do? And I just walk up to the cash register. And I'm like, well, let's see if I can, can I scan it myself. And I scan it and I hear the boop, but it doesn't come up on the screen. Don't know why, because I, I didn't see, I saw her come up and I don't, I, I didn't see her put anything in the thing or turn a key or whatever. But then I go, I was so pissed off. I'm like, Oh good, you're here. Here you can scan it. Tell me how much it is. Three eighty four. Three eighty four. I could have four almost four fucking dollars on this piece of shit beer. I could have gotten a really good twenty two ounce authentic of something to review instead of this garbage. So yeah, I'm gonna give this a two out of five. A two. Not a three, a two. Because I'm so pissed off. Let's see. For the for the price you can get I think for that price, you almost get at Walmart, you can get a six pack of Steel Reserve. Yes, Steel Reserve does not taste better than this, but at least you get four of them. You get four days of fucked up. This, I'm halfway through, I'm barely feeling a buzz just because I'm so pissed off and I'm, I'm feeling something. Uh, yeah. And then she's like, 
284, and I'm like, okay, that's fine. I should have, I, in the back of my mind, I said, fuck no, but then it, I thought, well, it can't be that bad, right? Well, I was wrong. It can be that bad. I mean, to go into retrospect, I think this is slightly better than Bush, only slightly. Actually, no. I think Bush is better because it's cheaper, but when you go back to back, <laughs> um, they're about the same in, in foulness. And uh, Budweiser, about the same. Um, I'd rather I'd rather drink a Coors, a, uh, of course I'd much rather drink a Rolling Rock, even though I'm just kind of getting a little sick of the taste. Um, I'd rather drink. Shit, I'd rather drink a pale ale, and I'm not even a pale fan. I, I don't even like pale, but at least it doesn't taste like this. So one last swig. Oh man, it's not much of an aftertaste, but the the taste is is what does it. It's like it almost has like the the twang, like the the taste of antifreeze, and I know that because uh, put my mouth on a radiator trying to blow out the water when my friend didn't turn to spigot all the way. It has that kind of like that little I don't know what you call it, but that. That foul linger that if you if you have antifreeze like get on your lips that that sensation it's kind of like that just imagine Beck's not Heineken because Heineken's a lot more it has less taste but I think Beck's I could be wrong but whatever Beck's with more corn more adjunct more shit if you want, if you want adjunct shit there you go okay this video is probably ten minutes long. Oh my god, 60 minutes. Well, when you see this, you might get a laugh. Whatever. Thanks for watching. Stay away from the Steinlager. I mean, I'd rather drink um, Budweiser Clamato. I'd rather drink... Shit. I'd even, I'd even down Steel Reserve over this. Because... Well... I think oh, it's a little tight to Steel Reserve, actually. But it's pretty bad. Anyways, see you next time.